Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, we have a head-on collision and the car is stopping in 0.1 second from a speed of 14 meters per second. They tell us the mass of the driver is 70 kilograms and fortunately they're wearing their seatbelt. And so we need to find what the force of the seatbelt is during the crash. Let's find what the acceleration is or the deceleration. We know that acceleration is the change in velocity over a change in time. And the change stands for V final minus V initial divided by delta T. We have the final velocity is zero because it's decelerating or stopping. So zero meters per second minus the initial, which is 14 meters per second, divided by the change in time of 0 0.1 seconds. Now, if you look at this, we're dividing by 0.1. And so if you divide by 10, you know that you all, well, you can just move the decimal place over, but since we're dividing by 0 0.1, we'll move the decimal place the other way. So we have negative 14 divided by 0 0.1 gives us negative 140. So negative 140 meters per second squared is the deceleration in this accident. Now when we write the formula for force, we have force is equal to mass times the acceleration, and that is already solved for what we need. We need the tension, and we have the mass, and now we have the deceleration. So the mass of the driver is 70 kilograms and the deceleration is negative 140 meters per second squared. A kilogram times meter per second squared is the same thing as a, a Newton. So we have 70 times a negative 140, we'll just hit answer, gives us negative 9,800 Newtons. So the force of the seatbelt on the driver is 9,800 Newtons.